So you've gone ahead, you've picked up your Gear VR, and you've been playing around with it a bit. You've played a few different games, maybe a couple of cinematic movies or whatever it is you're watching. And you decide that, hey, you know, this, this is kind of cool. How do I get my stuff on here? I know a little bit about Unity. Uh, how do I get stuff on? Yeah, that way, kids. So how do I get my stuff on the Gear VR? Well, this is the video for you. We'll do a quick setup just to hurry up and get something on there. Maybe you've already got a game built, so we'll go through the steps of putting stuff on the Gear VR. Let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and create a project just like we would any other new project. Since we're going to be in VR, we might as well go ahead and make it a 3D project. And I'm just going to call mine Gear VR Demo. And I'll just save it to the desktop. And of course, this is going to be an Android app. So if you do not have your system set up to build for Android, I'll go ahead and link a video down below. If you follow those steps, you'll be able to go ahead and get the SDK and everything else installed for Android. Then once that's done, we'll come back in. I'm going to switch to Android right off the bat and go to switch platform. And then while I have this open, I'm going to go ahead and switch my texture compression to ASTC. This is what Oculus recommends for your texture compression. Some people still use ETC2, GLES 3.0. There's some issues about it. If you want to go read about it on the forums, that's fine. Uh, if you're building for the Oculus, just go with ASTC. And while I'm here, I'm also going to go into the player settings. There's a lot of stuff here you could change to optimize your experience for VR. And if you'd like to see some more in-depth VR tutorials, go ahead and let me know down below. That's something we can do. But the main things are for VR, Go ahead and make sure that we click the virtual reality supported. This little option here will pop up and you'll see Oculus. Now, if you're in the Android build, Oculus just means the Gear VR. That's who makes Gear VR for Samsung. This is what we want. Now, with future versions of Unity, we might actually get some other options in here. But right now with Unity 5.51, this is all we have. And the other thing you're going to want to look at is your minimum API level. I believe you can actually go as low as 4.3. I think there are a few 4.3 devices that can still do VR. As a general rule, I usually do five and up, but I think most people just set it to a minimum of 4.4. Again, since we're dealing with Samsung devices, I don't think there's any under 4.4 that are actually gonna run well anyway. I guess that's the keyword well <laughs> under VR. And then it's an Android thing, not a VR thing, but we want to go ahead and make sure that we change the bundle identifier. Now I'm just going to switch mine over to bza.vr demo. Go ahead and make sure you get your your own bundle identifier in there. Okay, now that's done. I'm going to close this down. I want to come up to our project settings time. And all of your gear VR applications are supposed to be running at a minimum 60 frames a second. And we can fix that by coming into the fixed timestamp and doing 0 0.01 and then five sixes. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And then under maximum allowed timestamp, we'll go ahead, we'll put that there as well. And we're almost done all of the things we need to do inside of Unity. The next thing is to come into your assets folder. We're gonna create one for plugins. Now spelling matters, capital P. Plugins, then we'll go inside of there. We need one for Android, capital A. And for some reason, I always forget this third folder. Assets, small a. And you'll know you've forgotten it because when you go ahead and add your files in here, it won't work. And speaking of files, let's go grab that next. So head on over to dashboard.oculus.com. I'll leave a link for that down in the description as well. And if you don't have an account, go ahead and create one. If you do, just go ahead and log in. And then once you log in, if we come down to the bottom under the developer section, we can go to tools. And that's going to bring you to the Oculus signature file generator. Now it's going to ask you for your device ID. Go ahead and open up your file explorer and you'll also need a terminal window. Now go to where you actually installed your Android SDK. For me, that was SDK, Android. And here are all the Android stuff that I installed. Go into platform tools. And this ADB is what you're looking for. Now, if you've gone ahead and added this to your system path, it's fine. You can just type it into your terminal. I don't think I have on this computer yet. So what I'm going to do is just take and drag and drop it in. And 
And after that, we'll type devices. And there we go. This is the device I currently have attached to my computer. It's obviously a Samsung device. Since we're going to be working with VR. But if you do have your ADB attached to your system path, then you can just type in ADB devices. I do not. Well, we'll hook that up later. But go ahead and copy this number. And then in the device ID field, go ahead, paste it in. Go ahead and hit download file. And that'll actually go ahead and download your Oculus signature file for you. We do have some more detailed instructions listed here, but I've already gone ahead and downloaded my file and I've got it right here. So now let's come back into Unity. I'll open this up. I want to go into the assets folder. I'm going to take that signature file, drag and drop that in. I'll go ahead, reposition this. And let's make a very simple scene just so we can start looking around at things. And to keep it super simple, I'm just going to go ahead and make two cubes. I have one at zero, zero, zero. Let's make this the red cube. All right, so the red cube, we'll just make a material for red. Ta-da. And let's make the other one a green cube. And I'm just actually going to rename it red cube. Duplicate it. And this will be green cube. And I want to position it equal distance on the opposite side of the camera. If we click on the camera, we notice it's at negative 10 Z. So we're going to move this green cube to negative 20. And then of course, we've also got to change the material that's on it. There we go. Now we know which way we're looking. When we look straight forward, we'll see the red one. If we turn around, we'll see the green one. I'm going to go ahead and save this off. And I'll just call it demo scene. I'm not even going to make a scenes folder because I'm a rebel. <laughs> and I'm going to back up to my build settings. I just want to take one more quick look. We do have VR enabled. We have a bundle identifier. We have a minimum API. And we have texture compression. All right, let's go ahead. Let's build this bad boy. I'm actually going to go ahead and click build and run. As this will also install the app onto my phone. So it's going to ask me where I, want to, where I want to build it. I'm going to create a new folder called builds. And I'm going to call this gear VR. That's a super small scene. And because I'm using mono and not the IL to CPP, it should build fairly quickly. Now I'm going to attempt to actually record the actual display on my phone. I'm using reflector too. And for some reason, it'll only record a second or two or display a second or two, and then it crashes. If you know of a better way, go ahead and let me know down below, especially if you actually want to see more Gear VR or not even just Gear VR, just VR in general. And we can make some more VR tutorials. Now, the first build is always the longest, especially if you go with the IL to CPP. And there we go. If we go ahead and look at my phone, it's telling me to open this application by inserting this into my device. Now, sometimes when I first do this, I'll just get a black screen. I can't see anything. But when I take it out, it's going to ask me if I want to go ahead and allow my application to access my photos or something along that line. Hit yes, put it back in. It works fine. So let me go ahead, grab my headset. And let's put this in. And sure enough, that looks like what's happening right now. And it looks like I actually lost my... I recorded. Let's see if I can get that back up. It's actually working. I'm, I'm looking at the view and it's asking me gear VR demos required permission. I've gone ahead and hit yes. And it does work. I can turn around and see it. But let me go ahead and see if I can't actually get the screen to display again. I'm not sure why I'm having so much trouble with reflector. I've used it before and I've never had problems with it. All right, we've got it back up. I'm going to go ahead and try to insert it. See if this works again. Cross your fingers. It's asking me if I would like to allow it. There we go. But as you can see, it only shows the first few seconds and then it stops. I am going to go ahead, allow it. We don't have to, it doesn't really matter. I guess I could have also clicked the uh, button. There we go. Oh, now if, if I take it off and put it back on, It'll display for the next few seconds again.
But with the Gear VR headset on, it works smoothly. I just wish I could find a better way to record. Again, if anyone knows a better way, go ahead and let me know down below in the comments as I would like to get this up and running a little bit smoother for you. But there you go. The first steps you actually need to be able to go ahead and start building applications for your Gear VR. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You're a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest. Or being stalked by eagles. And falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>